Jill Kerr Conway, the 9th of October 1934 to the 1st of June 2018, was an Australian-American scholar and author. Well known for her autobiographies, in particular her first memoir, The Road from Corain, she also was Smith College's first woman president 1975 and most recently served as a visiting professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. In 2004 she was designated a Women's History Month honoree by the National Women's History Project. Biography <inaudible> 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 Kerr Conway was born in Hilston, New South Wales, in the outback of Australia. Together with her two brothers, Kerr Conway was raised in near total isolation on a family-owned 73 square kilometres 18,000 acres tract of land called Corain the Aboriginal word for windy place, which eventually grew to encompass 129 square kilometres 32,000 acres. On Corain, she lived a lonely life, and grew up without playmates except for her brothers. In her early years, she was schooled entirely by her mother with the aid of correspondence class material for her primary school and early grade school education. Kerr Conway spent her youth working the sheep station. By age seven, she was an important member of the workforce, helping with such activities as herding and tending the sheep, checking the perimeter fences, and transporting heavy farm supplies. The farm prospered until it was crippled by a drought that lasted seven years. This and her father's worsening health put an increasing burden on her shoulders. When she was 11, her father drowned in a diving accident while trying to extend the farm's water piping. Initially Jill Kerr Conway's mother, a nurse by profession, refused to leave Corain. But after three more years of drought, she was compelled to move Jill and her brothers to Sydney, where the children attended school. Kerr Conway found the local state school a rough environment. The British manners and accent ingrained by her parents clashed with her peers' Australian habits, provoking taunts and jeers. This resulted in her mother enrolling her at Abbotsleigh, a private girls' school, where Kerr Conway found intellectual challenge and social acceptance. After finishing her education at Abbotsleigh, she enrolled at the University of Sydney, where she studied history and English and graduated with honours in 1958. Upon graduation, Kerr Conway sought a trainee post in the Department of External Affairs, but the all-male committee turned down her application. After this setback, she travelled through Europe with her now emotionally volatile mother. In 1960, she decided to strike out on her own and move to the United States. At age 25, she was accepted into the Harvard University History Program. There she assisted a Canadian professor, John Conway, who became her husband until his death in 1995. Kerr Conway received her Ph.D. at Harvard in 1969 and taught at the University of Toronto from 1964 to 1975. Her book True North details her life in Toronto. From 1975 to 1985, Kerr Conway was the president of Smith College. After 1985, she was a visiting professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. She received 38 honorary degrees and awards from North American and Australian colleges, universities and women's organizations. Throughout her career, Kerr Conway served as director on a variety of corporate boards. These include stints of more than a decade on the boards of Nike, Colgate Palmolive, and Merrill Lynch. After 2011, Kerr Conway served as the board chair of Community Solutions. It is a non-profit organization with a focus on homelessness and related issues, based in New York City. Conway died on 1 June 2018 at her home in Boston at the age of 83. <inaudible> <inaudible> President of Smith College In 1975, Kirk Conway became the first female president of Smith College, the largest women's college in the United States. Located in Northampton, Massachusetts, Smith, a private liberal arts college, is the only women's college in the U.S. to grant its own degrees in engineering. One of Kerr Conway's most notable accomplishments is a program she initiated to help students on welfare. At the time, many students who were also welfare mothers were not pursuing higher education, as accepting a scholarship would cause them to lose their welfare benefits. The students were forced to choose between supporting their children or furthering their education. By not giving them scholarships but paying their rent instead, Kerr Conway circumvented the state system. She also gave the students access to an account at local stores, access to physicians and so on. 
ABC's Good Morning America profiled graduates of the program, giving it national exposure. Eventually the state of Massachusetts, convinced about the importance of the program, changed its welfare system so that scholarship students wouldn't lose their benefits. Kerr Conway also launched the Ada Comstock Scholars Program, initially proposed by her predecessor Thomas Mendenhall. This program allows non-traditional students, many with work and family obligations, to study full or part-time, depending on their family and work schedules. These women can take classes for a bachelor's degree over a longer period of time. In 1975, Jill Kerr Conway was named by Time as a Woman of the Year. The Road from Corain Kerr Conway started writing her first memoir after leaving Smith College, during her period at MIT. The Road from Corain was published in 1989 ISBN and details her early life, from Corain in Australia to Harvard in the United States. The book begins with her early childhood at the remote sheep station Corain near Mosgell, New South Wales. Kerr Conway writes about her teenage years in Sydney and especially her education at the University of Sydney, where university studies were open to women but the culture was focused heavily on the men. She describes her intellectual development and later her feelings when she realizes that there is a bias against women. Based upon her sex, she is denied a traineeship at the Australian Foreign Service. In 2001, Chapman Pictures produced a television film, The Road from Corain, featuring Catherine Slattery as the grown up Jill and Juliet Stevenson as her mother. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and honors 1960 Jill Kerr Conway was a 1960 Fulbright postgraduate scholar in history from the University of Sydney to Harvard University. 1975 In the first year of her presidency at Smith College, Conway was named a Woman of the Year, one of a small group of notable women selected for that award by Time magazine. 1989 LL. Winship Penn New England Award, The Road from Corain Kerr Conway was appointed a Companion AC in the General Division of the Order of Australia on 10 June 2013 for her eminent service to the community, particularly women, as an author, academic and through leadership roles with corporations, foundations, universities and philanthropic groups. On 12 June, she was removed as a Companion and invested as an Honorary Companion of the Order of Australia, because she no longer held Australian citizenship. On July 10, 2013, she received a 2012 National Humanities Medal from President Barack Obama. Legacy In 2017 the John and Jill Kerr Conway Residence for Veterans was opened in Washington, D.C. Selected bibliography Topic. Books Conway, Jill 1977. Modern Feminism, An Intellectual History. New York, Alfred A. Knopf. Conway, Jill, Keeley, Linda, Schulte, Janet E. 1982. The Female Experience in Eighteenth and Nineteenth Century America, A Guide to the History of American Women. New York, Garland Pub. ISBN 9780691005996. Conway, Jill 1987. Utopian Dream or Dystopian Nightmare, 19th Century Feminist Ideas About Equality. Worcester, Massachusetts, American Antiquarian Society. ISBN 9780912296264. Conway, Jill, Scott, Joan W., Bork, Susan C. 1989. Learning About Women, Gender, Politics and Power. Ann Arbor, Michigan, University of Michigan Press. ISBN 9780472063386. Conway, Jill 1989. The Road from Corain, 1st ed. New York, Alfred A. Knopf Distributed by Random House. ISBN 9780749303386. Conway, Jill 1992. The Road from Corain 2nd ed. 
London, Minerva. ISBN 9780749398. Topic: Notable Scientists. Conway, Jill. 1992. Written by herself, an anthology. New York, Vintage Books. ISBN 9780679736. Topic: Conway, Jill, Bork, Susan C. 1995. The Politics of Women's Education, Perspectives from Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Ann Arbor, University of Michigan Press. ISBN 9780472083381. Conway, Jill. 1995. True North, A Memoir. New York, Vintage Books. ISBN 9780679747. Conway, Jill. 1992. Written by herself, Autobiographies of American Women. An Anthology. New York, Vintage Books. ISBN 9780679737381. Conway, Jill. 1992. Written by herself, Women's Memoirs from Britain, Africa, Asia and the United States, Volume 2, An Anthology. New York, Vintage Books. ISBN 9780679754242. Conway, Jill. 1998. When Memory Speaks Reflections on Autobiography. New York, Alfred A. Knopf. ISBN 9780679764242. Conway, Jill. 1999. In Her Own Words, Women's Memoirs from Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and the United States. New York, Vintage Books. ISBN 9780679784242. Conway, Jill. 1999. Elizabeth. Munnings, Claire. 2001. Overnight Float. New York, Penguin Books. ISBN 9780142113. Conway, Jill. 1999. Marx, Leo, Keniston, Kenneth. Earth, Air, Fire, Water, Humanistic Studies of the Environment. Amherst, University of Massachusetts Press. ISBN 9781558498. Conway, Jill. 2001. A Woman's Education. New York, Alfred A. Knopf. ISBN 9780679745242. Conway, Jill. 2006. Felipe the Flamingo. Golden, Colorado, Fulcrum Publishing. ISBN 9781555952. Conway, Jill. 1998. Points of Departure. In Zinsser, William, Inventing the Truth, The Art and Craft of Memoir, Boston, Houghton Mifflin, pp. 41-60, ISBN 9780395901000, Conway, Jill, 2001. Forward. In Freeman, Sue J. M., Bork, Susan C., Shelton, Christine M., Women on Power, Leadership Redefined, Boston, Northeastern University Press, ISBN 9781555539. Conway, Jill, 1960. Merchants and Marinos. Royal Australian Historical Society Journal. Royal Australian Historical Society. 46 4, 206 233. Conway, Jill. Winter 1971 1972. Women Reformers and American Culture, 1870 1930. Journal of Social History. Oxford Journals. 
5-2-164-177. doi.10.1353, JSH, 5.2.164. PDF References External links Tinley, Francis G. April 28, 1999. Conway Speaks About Views of Female Body at Lowell Lecture. The Harvard Crimson, retrieved June 15, 2018. National Women's History Project, Jill Kerr Conway Biography. Jill Kerr Conway, A Life. Penguin Random House Books, Jill Kerr Conway. A Woman's Education by Jill Kerr Conway Reading Group Guides for the Road from Corain and True North, The Book Report Network, retrieved June 15, 2018. Excerpts from The Road from Corain. The Road from Corain on IMDb Masterpiece Theater, The Road from Corain, aired May 13, 2008. Appearances on C SPAN. Booknotes Interview with Kerr Conway on When Memory Speaks, Reflections on Autobiography, May 24, 1998.